Hey everybody, how's it going? So, um, besides playing this game and really being completely addicted, it's called AlienWorlds.io. Uh, I'm good. I would head over to AlienWorlds.io and try it out if you're interested. It gets you into the cryptocurrency. <laughs> All right. Other than that, um, I made my own function today, and I'm. Uh, really proud of it. I think it's really cool. It's what I tried to do the other day and I messed it up and uh, apparently sleeping on it helped, <laughs> which was good. So I'm going to attempt to explain it here. So let me show you what it does first. Basically it does the circles, but if you notice inside the circles there are little gem facets to it. There's a circle and a circle and a circle and a circle and it's all uh, smoothly interpol interpolated from uh, color to color, circle to circle. Um, so long story short, it's not going to be short, um, the first thing I do is generate a hash random number, and if that number is uh, less than 0.5, because the range of that that comes out of that function is from 0 to 1, if it's less than 0.5, clean uh, boolean that I created uh, here, clean gets set to true, otherwise it gets set to false clean is a boolean that I put into the function to, um, you can see it's received right there, um, to determine whether or not a particular offset is added, um, and I'll show you that in a second. So then attempt center is created, which I use my um, uh, random function there with the, with the fractional, or no, I don't use the random function, it's just the fractional part of i divided by 10 which i is going to go from 0 to 100, so that's always going to be um, going from 0 to 1, but it's like the mod function. It's going to it's going to repeat every 10, so that's going to repeat 10 times. And then times 0.85, and then uh, floor i divided by 10, that's going to repeat uh, 10 times as well, and times 0 0.085. And I did that, and that one is 0 0.085 because you want to divide by 10 because it's an actual number that goes from 0 to 1, or 0 to 10 as it computes that. Um, and the reason for the times 0.85 and the times 0 0.085 was to <coughs> excuse me, center it on the screen just right. The center of the screen is right there. Um, I can't believe I just showed you the center of the screen. Okay. <laughs> so then we pass in the gem. Uh, just like a circle, we pass in the UV, uh, the temp center, which we just calculated as a random vector 2. Um, then we pass in a vector 3, which up here you can see is the gem color. And then we pass in the... S I just pass in the, the variable i from the loop because I needed a seed for my hash functions inside the gem function. And then the clean boolean variable. Okay, so now let's kind of walk through step by step. First thing we do is set up a temporary radius. Um, that is uh, modified later. You can see a temp radius is used when it calls the uh, circle function first time it's called creates the largest circle uh, that is um, also the darkest of the circles and then the radius you can see just keeps shrinking because I subtract an increasingly larger larger and larger small number from it it is a small number so it's very little amount and you can that kind of gives a gradient that leads into the center which is kind of nice <coughs> excuse me so this brat this bright ad is actually a random color times a very small amount. Uh, you can see it's created a random there with the hashes and then it's times vector 3.09f so that is a very small amount and it makes it. Uh, the reason I did that was because it is thrown into the circle uh, function uh, and it just creates a circle with a very very dim color. However, all I'm doing is I'm adding that each time. So I'm just adding a very dim colored circle and it's that's it's it's laying on the basis of uh, the f this is how I had to figure out to make the gems. I couldn't get it because this was interfering not being able to understand that I needed to do this was interfering with the fact that I just couldn't produce the gems the way I wanted them to look. They just kept getting brighter and brighter with exponential magnitude and I wasn't figuring out why. Well, here's why. Because instead of creating another circle with another color, I just needed a bright add, a very small color to be added. 
And eventually what I wanted, because I was looking at this, I wanted each of the components of that small, or that uh, very, very small numbered uh, color to be different. So that, that's why they're all random colors. And so we start uh, with, the, with the color inside the gem function is zero. And then as we go through, we just add to the color as we go through. That way it calculates for every single s uh, circle that is created. So here's where we use the, um, oh, here's where the offset is created. This, I threw in the, um, the bright add uh, dot r vector just as a seed to the hash function. And then the offset is actually the offset to the uh, center of the gems. So I times that by 0 0.01, which gives you a very small offset. And that gets added and then subtracted um, after the initial circle is drawn. And then I reset the offset with uh, the x component of the previous offset as the hash or seed hash. And then I add and I subtract it again for the smaller inner circles offset. So the so that's how that works. And the offset right after it's calculated, if the boolean clean is set to true, then the offset is set to zero, and this these additions and subtractions do not affect uh, the uh, gem gem center. So it looks clean because they're all geometrically uh, centered. And in the end, we just return the color and then it just gets added all up together uh, in the actual main function and that produces the nice little hundred gems so uh, all right well that, i hope that explains it I'm, I'm i think i got a little bit better at explaining this stuff because i um, uh, took my time and just kind of explained it line by line there so i hope that helps somebody this is really amazing stuff and you can tell i'm hooked on it because the last few videos i've made i just can't stop doing this so <laughs> anyways thanks for watching and obviously stay tuned for more of these um, have a good day